Oh, if all our research pans out in terms of developing fusion, we'd have a clean uh, energy source that would last for thousands, thousands of years. Nike is a world unique facility in the world because it's a krypton fluoride laser, whereas uh, other people have been building glass lasers for a long time and are still doing that. We have moved on to something that's uh, better, something that gives us better coupling to the, to the target. It's deeper UV, it's a smoother drive on target, so we can do more interesting experiments with this laser. And eventually, this will be, this is looking like a, a better driver for inertial confinement fusion, for fusion energy than, than um, the older glass systems. Laser fusion, um, the idea with laser fusion, the way I'm fond of explaining it is that, if, is, is that you're, you're trying to make a miniature hydrogen bomb <laughs> ignited by a laser. And um, much of the early work historically on laser fusion was actually done here. The dream, however, is to, uh, to do laser fusion not just for, for looking at target physics or weapon physics, but to actually make electricity. And that's actually historically been the, the, the major effort of NRL's program. The promise of laser fusion, well, the dream, quite a ways from the dream, would be to have a power plant that would operate at uh, 5 hertz and a lot of work was done here, very good work was done within our branch at the Naval Research Lab to demonstrate a 5 hertz operation of a laser like this with high power, which is uh, you know, very competitive or I would argue, I would think we would argue better than solid state lasers at the moment for the high average power. The promise is very good. It's, it's still a work in progress though. We're not, it's not uh, on the immediate horizon to have fusion. It's, it's, it's got a lot of, you know, some, quite a few steps is involved still. We are um, working capital funded, which means basically that you or someone or your boss or someone near to you needs to, needs to find funding for whatever it is you're doing, whether it's what your dream is or not. Um, but it also means, of course, that if you're, you do want to go in a particular direction, and there's uh, enormous opportunities to, to pursue whatever your, your goal might be. The access between Having an idea and being able to implement it is very small. If you go to other facilities that are doing this type of work, uh, the bigger you go, the more bureaucracy gets in your way to the point where you don't even get to touch your instrument. Culture here, the culture here is of coming up with innovations. And then, uh, this program has come up with many new things that have since been used in other programs elsewhere in the world. We, we come up with new things, we try them out. If they don't work, we move on to something else. Back behind me here is a is our, the target chamber for the Nike laser system. So the laser can fire about once every half hour. Uh, so for a high energy laser, that's, that's quite remarkable. And that's, that's part of the advantage of having a gas laser because a, a gas is easier to cool than it is a, a solid state material like glass. So fusion energy is the, is the power of stars. So we are working on generating the technologies that can unleash that energy. But to be clear, at Livermore, at Sandia, at Rochester, at some other places in the world, they actually create spherical implosions that get to those conditions. At NRL, the Nike laser is a planar drive, so we don't we don't get to the thermonuclear conditions that they have in stars, but we're working on understanding, building the codes that can simulate the implosions. We're working on the laser technologies. We are the world's leader in excimer lasers, krypton fluoride, and next we're gonna be looking at argon fluoride lasers that could be the driver that would enable us to go from inertial confinement fusion to inertial fusion energy, from working on single shot to actually trying to make it an energy source.